Hello everyone, it's Hilyaden uh, for the 2 versus 2 team tournaments. It's round 3. I'm playing with Rikiru. Um, and uh, so I'm playing Dwarf Dreadnought. Um, and I play with Destruction Adept for the um, um, two main useful texts of uh, Destruction Adept, which are uh, Hasty Plunder and uh, Scorch Earth and then Shadowborn Adept and Shadowborn Master mainly for the uh, reduction in costs that it, bri that it brings so as you can see in the description displayed minus 5% uh, cost in gold to produce pikemen and infantry and same uh, for cavalry and archer so it's very useful because I'm playing um, Bio Dread uh, which is a dreadnought without uh, machines so I'm going to focus on producing some nice um, boar riders of the uh, T2 cavalry dwarf and uh, and uh, with rifles thanks to the Empire um, upgrades of dreadnought uh, sorry for the graphics I'm playing on uh, low resolution because my computer is not powerfulness so you do you see that uh, uh, gra graphics of the characters are not very beautiful, but anyway. And my ally Rikiru is playing uh, Flushing Turkrat and is playing Creation Master and Expander. Um, so it's turn one, and I'm I just uh, cleared one site, so I started with my dwarf village and um, I started the shrine. Um, so this turn I will do 29 production and uh, next turn I will cast uh, the mana fuel cell on my city and uh, I will be able to finish the shrine in two turns because it costs uh, six 75 gold so there is no point in casting the mana fuel cell this turn you will just waste mana to do this so I'm just preloading it and uh, so next turn I will not use any casting points to cast it um, and I'm producing a shrine because mana fuel cell is very very mana intensive. It takes 20 mana, so I need more mana from the, my throne uh, before doing anything else. And I, I plan to build a storehouse and then the builder's hall um, because dwarf needs a lot of population to uh, produce settlers. Uh, it's 10% more expensive, so it's 2,200 population for the settler and without the storehouse I'm going to lack population later on uh, when I'm going to produce my second settler so storehouse, builders hole in two turns each and then uh, settler um, I could also produce uh, an axeman or someone but mm, I will play safe and should be okay <laughs> with my six units so um, I've got a very very nice hero, I, of course I could have had a better one but I, I like it I like her, Tara the Infiltrator, she's a rogue so I will have some um, mind control abilities later on with lesser charm when I reach level 7 or 9, I don't remember exactly um, and uh, she has urban stealth commander uh, when she starts which means that all my units will be hidden, uh, concealed when I'm on a structure or a city and that can prove very very useful later on in the game uh, as I get closer to my to our enemies uh, otherwise I would have to, to buy this so it's, it's cool and also she has some nice spells uh, she has blind, quick dash which is really nice and panic attack which I don't use much because it's too expensive I think but quick dash is really nice, uh, it can heal 15 HP and I'm going to use it a lot uh, because at the beginning I don't have any uh, stuff to uh, heal so I need some mana to, to be able to use this quick dash and also it restores movement points and it's also very nice so I just did a small fight uh, at the gold mine against one raptor, two crusher and one flamer and the flamer uh, which is really a, a, a nuisance so I had to kill it quickly and I lost a lot of HP to, to get uh, to kill it but otherwise I would have lost even more I think oh I didn't see it, there is a nice spot here to, pr to 
put my first settler with mercenary camp and gold mine. And here there is a very nice spot for my second settler with two uh, quarries, uh, which will give me plus 20 production, uh, plus 40 production. And uh, so maybe I will produce my boar riders there. Could be even better if I had a site with a, a nice mystical city upgrade for um, boar riders for cavalry, but we will see. And um, yeah, I'm playing dwarf uh, and dreadnought, so I've got both the um, boost uh, of the empire empire upgrades of dreadnoughts like steam pod uh, which gives plus five for each great farm and gold mine I didn't know it was also for great farm actually um, so I need a lot of, of gold mines and uh, and also I'm playing uh, dwarf and so I need um, to take this uh, dwarf protector economic plus three uh, gold per gold mine so after I get this, I uh, will have really a lot of gold from gold mines. So my main focus uh, when I settle will be to get uh, gold mines in, in my in my domain. And I'm also going to take dwarf pattern economic with uh, uh, walls giving bonus. So I'm also going to build a lot of walls, which I don't usually do in my in my other games. Um, and yeah, so my my ally is on the surface, uh, not so far from me, and the opponents are uh, Rookie and Johnny Thunder, and um, yeah, uh, w we are expecting them to play maybe Rogue and uh, maybe Archery. I don't remember what you said, but probably Rogue. So my ally was a bit worried by Shadow Stalkers, um, but I'm not so worried about them because I think we will uh, get to them pretty f fast and they will not have time to get Shadow Stalkers. I don't plan to play machines and uh, I think I will have uh, Boar Riders up and running pretty quick. It depends how much gold I can get. So that's it for this turn. I'll see you on next.